Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to build your own specific custom AI agent. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to build an artificial intelligence agent. Think of it as more of an onboarding agent for new employees. So in order for me to show you the capabilities of this AI agent, basically what I've done here is I've created three different documents and these are kind of sample documents for my company, which is Stemplicity School Online. So what you see here, um, you'll see the first document that covers welcome kind of to new employees. Here, so I'm mentioning welcome to Stemplicity, where we make STEM or science, technology, engineering, and math simple, accessible, and impact impactful. We teach courses on artificial intelligence, cloud computing, data science, and engineering. And I also included a few points here around the mission as well of the company is to simplify complex concepts, make knowledge as well accessible to everyone on the planet and innovation, impact and community. I also included as well additional examples here. And please know that these are kind of fictitious name, I would say. And um, you can see the head of training and curriculum like Jennifer. Here we have IT and security, Steve, for example, and so on. And here I included a few next steps. And I also included as well an email here for the human resources um, uh, management. Okay. So if anyone has any question from the, from the new employees, they can go ahead and reach out to Jennifer Paul as an example. So that was the first document. And the idea here is I wanted to build artificial intelligence agent that new employees can ask specific questions and the agent is going to reply with information that is grounded in these documents. Meaning I can ask, okay, what if I have a question? Who should I contact? And then the AI agent is gonna come up and is going to generate this email, for example, and tell you exactly who to contact in the company. You can go ahead and maybe ask the AI agent, how many sick days am I allowed to at Stemplicity, for example? And then the AI agent need to go scan through the documents. So here, for example, that's another document um, that talks about policies, for example. And what you see here, it's going to tell you, for example, about remote work policies. You can also see here the office equipment purchases. You have like $500 per year. And you can see, for example, how many vacation days employees are allowed to, to take. So, for example, here we have 20 days per year. Sick leaves, you have 10 days per year. And these are the parental leave as an example. We also have, of course, DEI policies, IT and data security and so on. In document three, we have legal and compliance policies. And if you keep going, this is the intellectual property and so on. So the idea here is I'm going to use these three documents to build my custom artificial intelligence agent. That is kind of what we call it, simplicity onboarding agent. So let's go ahead and see how to build. It's actually pretty simple and you don't need to write any code at all, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and I'm going to navigate to Copilot. On the right hand side, if you remember, we learned how to get existing agents. Now we can create an agent. So if you click on create an agent, what you see right now is basically a, an artificial intelligence agent that is customized specifically with your own knowledge and with your own instructions too. Think of it as it's quite similar to how we built our custom GPT earlier as well, uh, or before in earlier modules. Okay, so what you see here is you can describe what the agent basically is going to do. You can also click on configure and now you can here give the agent a name. You can give it a description. You can also give it instructions. You can also add specific knowledge. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upload all these PDF documents to my SharePoint site. So this is a SharePoint site here and I call it Stemplicity Onboarding. And what I've done is I've uploaded all the PDF documents for the three documents that I showed you. I also added the Microsoft Word documents as well. Please note that agents are still work in progress. It's not perfect, I would say yet. The kind of 2025 is the year of AI agents. And um, what I'm going to do is just uploaded both versions just to make it easier for the AI model to try to distill that information and get it either from PDFs or from Microsoft Word. And then what we have here, and this will be the next level, I would say, which is what I'll call it actions. So now these AI models, we're going to have access to actions, right? So you can give it access to tools. 
and I was going to do stuff on your behalf. It, has, it will have the ability to write emails, for example, based on its outcome, or maybe purchase, let's say, a ticket, for example, you know, or book in a hotel or something like that. You can also here have the ability to enable code interpreter or not, and also have the ability to generate images. And here you can see the preview of the Copilot agent. So let's go ahead and actually build our first agent. So what I'm going to do here is going to go back and what you see is here, I'm going to say you are Simplicity's AI onboarding assistant designed to streamline the onboarding process for new employees. Your role is to provide a clear, accurate and friendly guidance on company's policies, IT setups, benefits, role expectations, compliance and so on. Please don't hallucinate and use your knowledge base capabilities. You have the ability to answer questions based on the employee handbook, IT security, legal compliance, and so on. You can provide step-by-step -step instructions for setting up emails. You can explain the code of conduct, guide employees through career and growth opportunities. This is the tone and guidance. You need to be professional, concise, and supportive, and keep responses accurate and up-to-date. Always ensure a smooth and encouraging onboarding experience for new employees. So let's go ahead and actually do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this um, here, okay, this prompt. I'm going to go to the describe here, and I'm going to just type or copy and paste here the exact same prompt. So now if, I'm run it, if I run it, what's going to happen is going to fill in all the configuration parameters based on that prompt. So let's go ahead and let it run. Here we go. Great. The initial setup for Simplicity's AI onboarding assistant is now complete. Now let's decide on a name for the AI agent. What about Simplicity's onboarding guide? Well, that looks good. I'm going to say, um, sure. And does that work for you? I'm going to say, okay, sounds good. And right now it's going to tell you the agent's name has been updated. So if you actually go to configure, now should be able to see the name here, Simplicity's Onboarding Guide, and maybe I can call it Simplicity's Onboarding Agent, something like that. You can here see the instructions. This is a description. Um, Simplicity's AI Onboarding Assistant is designed to streamline the onboarding process. And here we got the instructions, okay? So you need to, it's talking about the tone, talking about what documents to access and so on. And now what you need to do is that you need to give it access to that SharePoint site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I wanted to enable Stemplicity, for example. So what you could do actually is you can either enter your URL for your SharePoint site, or you can browse here. So if you click on browse, you should be able to see here Stemplicity's onboarding as one of the SharePoint sites that I've included here, okay? Please note that now I'm logged in into the same account. So, and I have also admin um, as well abilities. So now if I go back and I select Simplicity's onboarding, now I can go ahead and select the documents that I need as my knowledge base for that AI agent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to select all these different documents. I'm gonna select both versions, the PDF version and the Word version. I'm gonna say select. And now I included kind of the knowledge base. So here I got all the knowledge base as well. And I'm also going to enable code interpreter as well. And maybe I need to generate some images as well. Okay, it won't hurt. So let's go ahead and enable image generator. And here I've got all these starter prompts, right? So you can see all the starter prompts here, for example. So if everything looks good, maybe I can go ahead and click on create. And that's going to create my simplicity AI onboarding agent that is that has access to the knowledge, the custom based knowledge that is available on my SharePoint site. Please note that in the next lecture, I'm actually going to show you how to create an agent directly in SharePoint, which is much easier than this, but it's just going to say, okay, this is the link to the agent. I can just say, go to agent. And now you should be able to talk to Stemplicity's onboarding agent. Congratulations. Now you have been able to create your first artificial intelligence agent. So now what you could do is you can go ahead and say, for example, ask it a question. How many vacation days am I allowed, for example? So let's go ahead and see if it's able to obtain that information. So now it's screening through the documents and and here we go, it's going to tell you, Stemplicity employees are entitled to 20 vacation days per year, which are accrued monthly, and it's even giving you links as well to the content in this document, 
which is again incredible right so yes that was right i actually mentioned that we have 20 uh, vacation days as an example let's go ahead maybe and give it a try i can ask it how many sick days am i allowed okay so of course you can go ahead create or ask questions about travel policies about let's say um bonus and so on here we go it's simply saying please are entitled to 10 sick days per year and this is the link as well to the document so again congratulations now we have created our first artificial intelligence agent please know that this is again still super early and that's it that's all i have for this lecture i hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one